topic of discussion is hormonal balance. I will dissect this broad topic into three. Hi Smash Nation and home. welcome back to the channel. Today's video goes out to my ladies. Okay, hopefully it is the only audience I have. <laughs> right, let's get into it. What does a female hormonal imbalance feel like? That is topic number one. Topic number two. How can you prevent a hormonal imbalance? Topic three. How can I fix my hormonal imbalance naturally? Let's get into it. Right. Now, like I tell my mom when she blows out my hair, the heat dryer is to dry. The straightener will do the rest. And the reason why I am telling you ladies this is because nothing is unfixable. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Topic one. What does a female hormonal imbalance be like? It's true that hormonal imbalance can be associated with many problems, such as period problems, unwanted hair growth, fertility struggles, weight gain, and even difficulty sleeping. You should absolutely talk to your doctor about these things. Hormonal imbalance may be to blame for a range of unwanted symptoms from fatigue or weight gain to itchy skin or low mood, to bloating, mood swings, and spikes in body tem temperature. <laughs> what exactly are hormones? On a scientific level, hormones are chemicals produced by glands in the endocrine system and releases into the bloodstream. A hormonal... An imbalance occurs when there is too much or too little of a hormone. The main cause of hormonal imbalance are issues with the thyroid, stress, and eating disorders. Some symptoms include irregular periods, low sex drive, unexplained weight gain, and mood swings. How can you prevent hormonal imbalance? Maintaining a healthy weight, giving your body a routine, will help greatly with this. Eating a balanced, healthy diet. Please note, I did not say cut out desserts. Just portion them wisely. No, see? Don't overdo it. Exercise regularly. And when I say regularly, I mean three to five times a week. Yes it counts managing your stress now ladies i know as well as you do juggling your husband that's the third or the fourth child that you have then you have the actual children you have your job you have to clean the house you have to cook and everybody drive you insane you got your in-laws on your ass you got your own family on. it's not that easy i know but these things we can do to maintain or keep our stress under control. It's called the gym or therapy. When I say therapy, yes. Retail therapy counts, girl. It counts because it de-stresses you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then, <clears throat> getting enough quality sleep. Now, girls between the ages of 13 to 18, you will need 8 to 10 hours per 24 hours anywhere above 18 the grown woman the working woman we only get eight to seven hours of sleep per night and if you can't get that get help get help this is my best friend we love each other more than i love my husband that is GABA and it helps me sleep. Then you also will have to manage your 
chronic health conditions. Well, if it's applicable. Then you also need to quit smoking or using tobacco products. That's if you smoke. Last but not least, topic three. This is for my naturalistas. How can I fix my hormonal imbalance naturally? Now, I know most ladies would prefer to try home remedies because <coughs> what evens are those pills that the doctors give us, you know? Here we go for my natural listers. Certain lifestyle practices, including exercising regularly and eating a nutritious diet rich in proteins and fiber, can help naturally balance your hormones. I will get into all of the nutrition of it all in another episode. So we have something to look forward to, don't we? Right. According to the University of Pittsburgh, here comes the science. The psychiatry, the Department of Psychiatry at the, Depart the University of... Girl, can you get your words together? According to the University of Pittsburgh's Department of Psychiatry, women with PCOS or polycystic ov ovary syndrome, I'm too excited for this video, <laughs> experience irregular periods due to hormonal imbalance. <sighs> Research shows that having two teaspoons, that is 15 milliliters, of apple cider vinegar, uh, in 100 mils of water right after dinner reduces hormonal imbalance. Now, I am no GP, general practitioner, but if the natural ways are not what you're interested in, I would hope that you see a specialist about your hormonal imbalance. For the women in bodybuilding who are using PEDs, performance enhancement drugs, don't stop cold turkey or cut back the doses your own way. If you've been on it for more than a few weeks or months, it could go into steroid withdrawal. You could grow a penis. Which can have severe symptoms. It is safer to taper off prednisone. prednisone. Your doctor will gradually lower your dose. The elimination half-life of prednisone is around three to four hours. This is the time it takes for your body to reduce the plasma levels by half. It usually takes around 5.5 multiplied by half-life for a drug to be completely eliminated by your system. <clears throat> that is 5.5 multiplied by 3, which would be 16.5 hours, to 5.5 multiplied by 4, which is 22 hours for prednisones. If this video has brought you any form of education, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not the one who needed it, Share the video with a girl who you know needs it. Come on, don't be like that. And then comment down below which part of the video you found most interesting. If there is a part of the video that you want me to do a deeper dive into, comment down below. I am happy for you to give me ideas on what you want to see. And then, last but not least, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.